I have spoken to dozens of people looking to get their first job in the cloud and I've identified four characteristics or four mistakes they make that stop them from getting that cloud job and I'm hoping that by sharing that with you today you won't make that mistake. All right let's get into it. The first mistake I see them make is that they apply for the wrong roles and I don't actually blame them for this because a lot of the time they're told that you know as a beginner they can get jobs as solutions architects, you know, for six figures. And unfortunately, this isn't true. So solutions architect is usually the main career choice I see a lot of beginners apply for. And the reason this is a mistake is because to be a solutions architect, you need to have three to five years experience roughly. And that's proper on the job experience. Uh, because as a solutions architect, you're making decisions for a business that could make or cost them thousands of pounds or even millions of pounds or dollars. And so so, you know, you, you want to make sure you're really experienced before you can get that role. And I find a lot of the time beginners apply for these solutions architect roles and get no response back, which is very demotivating for them. As a beginner, you shouldn't be applying for solutions architect role. I'll get into what roles you can apply for towards the end of the video. I spoke to one of my students and when I found out he was applying for this role, I told him to stop doing that and apply for some of these other roles. And he was able to go from having no interviews at all to getting regular calls from recruiters just by changing that one thing. The next mistake I see a lot of beginners make is not having a learning plan, right? Look, we've all been there. I was the same when I when I was trying to get my first job in the cloud. And you know, you spend one day you're learning Python, another day you're learning Kubernetes, the next day you're learning CI C D. And I find that by flitting around and by trying to do all these things, you never really get that deep understanding of any one topic. And because there's no learning plan, you find that you're, you're doing a lot of work, but you're not really making any progress and you sort of feel like you're on a treadmill. That's how I felt until I developed a learning plan that completely changed the game. And by having a learning plan, you sort of have a map or a compass. So you have something you're working towards day by day, there's structure to it. And I think that structure is so important for, for motivation and also for progress because by having a plan day by day, you can chip away at it until you get to your destination. The third mistake I see a lot of beginners make when trying to get their first job in the cloud is that they focus too much on certifications. You know, I've spoken to people, you know, they have their AWS cloud practitioner certification, they have their solutions architect certification and they think that's all they need. Maybe they do a little project here and there, but these are the people where I'm like, okay, let's see what you have. So I tell them to do a simple task, like create a web server on Amazon Linux too. And they really struggle this sort of encapsulate why certifications aren't always the answer. You need to have good complex projects, right? You need to be able to show that you've done interesting things with AWS, because at the end of the day, that's what employer cares about they don't really care about what certifications you have they care about what you can do for them you know can you solve their ec2 issues can you help optimize their cloud environments do you have experience with auto scaling things like this this is what they actually care about you know networking security certifications teach you the theory but as a lot of you know when it comes to actually implementing the theory you know there's a lot of gotchas there so it's very important to get some high quality cloud projects under your belt. And I know your next question is, where can I find some of these projects? Don't worry, you know, wait till the end of the video and I'll share where you can find high quality projects. The final mistake I notice beginners make is that they give up too easily. You know, they don't enjoy a challenge. Getting your first job in the cloud is difficult as you probably already know, as you're finding out, it's very challenging. And if you're the kind of person who gives up, then, you know, maybe a cloud career isn't for you because the reality is once you actually get that cloud job, that's just the first step like the real work has just begun you're gonna have to learn new systems new ways of working there's gonna be tight deadlines you're gonna be constantly learning new technologies and so working in the cloud itself is very challenging you need to enjoy the troubleshooting process you need to enjoy being in uncertain situations and so giving up too easily just means that you don't really have what it takes to stick it out and honestly a cloud career isn't for everyone you know it pays really well but as part of 
that there's also a lot of expectations and a lot of difficulty you know if it was easy it wouldn't pay that well and so that's the final mistake i see people make is that you know they give up quite quickly then they're afraid to spend that time troubleshooting you know i've had projects where it's taken me hours to troubleshoot a situation and i found out that i was missing a comma in my script you know so it's it's very challenging but you know if you're willing to put in the work to stick it out and to persevere as well you go really far in this industry so that's it those are the four mistakes i see beginners make when it comes to finding their first cloud job let me know in the comments if you've made any of these mistakes i know i've made all of them don't feel bad about them i just want to make you aware so you can change them which should help you be successful in the cloud if you're curious about steps you can take today to improve your chances of getting that first cloud job i have some good news for you i have created a program called the cloud career accelerator program and it teaches you everything you need to know to get that first job in the cloud it's a structured self-study program that i think you'll really like and you learn everything from Linux fundamentals, bash scripting, complicated AWS projects. And once you've learned these core fundamentals, you can then move on to more advanced things like CI CD, Terraform, Python, all of these in the program. But you learn these in a structured way where you learn the fundamentals, then you do projects. And I go even a step further because a lot of programs, they just teach you the technical stuff. I'm all about helping you to get that first cloud job. And so there's also a section on how to write an effective CV, how to interview to wow hiring managers, because you need to have a holistic view on this job search. You need to also be able to communicate effectively, how to communicate the experience you have, because a lot of the time they put, you know, they need real world experience. But I translate that to, to show that even if you don't have real world work experience, you can still leverage all the projects you've done in the program and, you know, talk about them confidently to impress the hiring managers. If you want that, the link is in the description below. And and also as part of that you also get access to a private community where you can ask me questions the reason i included this private community is that you know we've all watched youtube videos on you know learning something and when we run the commands it doesn't quite work for us and you know we get a bit stuck and so this private community is just a space where you can ask questions you know i'm always active in there to help you sort of move past certain challenges or to encourage you and yeah so if you're interested in this program click in the description below all the details are in there i wish you the best of luck in your cloud search. You can do it and I'll see you in the next video.